Sure. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure we can go in? Sure. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Third one. Hey. Hey. Down to the end of the yeah, you're going to show them? Okay. I'll it out of the way. All right, Terry. Thank you. Talk to you later. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Hi. 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 I'm, I'm Alexa Barbara. Barbara. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice you. We've just been hanging out around outside, and we walked the dog so many times, he's exhausted. So yeah. Just yeah. Just yeah. Sure. Sure. Oh, sweet. <laughs> um, I'm going to just... Let uh, your agent show you through. Sure, and so okay. we'll be sitting outside if we have okay. if you have any questions. Okay. I'm the broker, but I'm also the owner. So, and we custom built the house in '93, so we're the only owners okay. of the okay. house. Great. And unfortunately, I didn't. I mean, many people have asked me today, when did you replace this and that? And I was actually going to do a spreadsheet yesterday because I have every okay. receipt of every penny I've ever spent on the house, and I was going to put all of it down. Sorry, but I just didn't get yeah, around to sure. it, so I am going to do that. But I'll just tell you briefly that I replaced the oven about maybe two to three years ago, or replaced the dishwasher right after um, the last hurricane because my dishwasher went out, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I replaced the I think the coil and the the AC like two years ago. Okay. You know, so I mean, yeah. we're yeah. just right. the type that we replace stuff as we've right. gone along. Yeah. Right. But there's Good. still some original things. From when we built it. Okay. Okay. For your flood insurance, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> did y'all get an elevation certificate? Or no. Let me no. tell you the story on okay. that. I'm very upset about it, but there's nothing I can do. We've lived here. We've had uh, we've had flood insurance for 10, 12 years, mm -hmm. 15, I don't know, whatever. And uh, this whole Brazewood was under flood, with the exception of our street up to Bel Air Boulevard mm -hmm. and um, so we've rocked along with but I've always had the insurance just as a precaution because they always told me that if you have insurance and if they redraw the flood map then your grandfather mm -hmm. didn't do the old plan mm -hmm. well okay I get my notice because I renew it in May um, I got a renewal notice that my flood insurance went up, and I'm like, well, what's this about? So I called my insurance agent, and so I had verified it um, because I didn't believe her at first, but she said that the city of Houston took it upon themselves, because usually it's Harris County that draws the flood map. They took it upon themselves to redraw the map or whatever. Anyway, bottom line is they put us in the flood area. Mm -hmm. it, so all I can tell you is we have to have flood insurance now, and that's all I can say, but we have never personally ever, ever been flooded here. Okay. And this street, and that's what my husband argued with the guy who says, well, I don't get it. You know, this street's never flooded. Yeah. Right. Now, has certain parts of Grace Heights have yeah. flooded bad, you mm -hmm. know, especially down by the bayou, but never flooding here. Mm -hmm. 3600 yeah. block, I think, flooded at one, maybe during Allison. Mm -hmm. But anyway, but hey, yeah. it's government. Yeah, So that's all I really know about yeah. it. Do you know how much you pay for insurance? Just um, I was paying three hundred and twenty-five dollars a year, a year, yeah. mm -hmm. and it went to fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I was told now this has been years ago. Um, getting to. I've been a real estate broker. I've sold at real estate actively for 15 years, and then I became a CPA, so I'm a practicing CPA now, but I still have my broker's license. But anyway, way back when, it was in the 90s, I sold a house down here on Merrick, and like I said, it, that had to have been 12, 14 years ago. And she was paying, because I thought it was a mistake, I think that many years ago, she was paying something like, gosh, I think 2,400 a year or wow. something. Of course, she was right down there, you know, by mm -hmm. the bayou. So I even checked with my agent to see if that was uh, appropriate, mm -hmm. and he said no. He said she's in the flood map, and that's what it cost. Okay, so now going to my situation, when I called my broker, I said, well, what is the story if you told me I was grandfathered to the old plan, but yet you can raise my... Yeah. And they, he said... Um, you can do one of two things to protest. You can get an elevation, but he said if you get the elevation, it might hurt you more than it would help you. Hmm. Hmm. 
So I just said, okay, whatever. Yeah. I'm yeah. just going to pay it. Because yeah. 15 is not good, but it's better than the 24 I know that she right. was paying down there. Right. right. So then I explained that I was in the process of trying to sell my house, or I was going to be selling it, and if I renewed the policy, because again, we've never flooded. I don't have to right. do it, but I said if I renew the pro policy, is is that transferable to a new owner? Mm -hmm. And they said yes. Okay. Okay. But I'd have to have it in writing. They haven't yeah. given that to right. me. Yeah. Because <laughs> <That's, laughs> yeah. I don't something. ever have yeah. anything on that I don't get in writing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. But that's the only thing they can t told me. So I don't know other people in the area what they are actually paying for flood insurance. Yeah. I don't know if the 15 is out. But it is what it is. You, know, mm -hmm. you can't fight them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do what they want. And our house is high up. I mean, the lot's right. high up. Yeah. I think um, the highest the water has ever come is to the curb. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Yeah. And we do have a French drain that was put in originally, which takes water from the back, you know, out mm -hmm. of the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, great. Anyway, let me just show you where the, if you want to go to the garage, and you know we have the unfinished quarters mm -hmm. about there. Yeah. But if, um, if y'all want to see the garage, it is... Um, basically a little oversized. Mm -hmm. um, it goes out farther to the back, so there's mm -hmm. a ledge back there. I see. But anyway, that's the garage door opener, and uh, the top of that is open. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. So, you're welcome. Okay, and we'll be sitting out front. Okay. <laughs> Sounds Enjoy good. Enjoy the rest. Yeah. Thanks. Do you want to start at the front? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. This is beautiful. So this counts as one of the four bedrooms, right? No. Uh, no. So this would either be formal living or she's using it as a den. I see. Ooh, yeah, that's big room for dining. I'm taking that. That's a big door. This is quite a substantial house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a different feel. Yeah. Many of us are single paying. Okay. I love all the crown molding everywhere. Yeah, it's really nice. Pocket Big pocket door. This is interesting. And a little sun window. Yeah. 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 I think my parents would really like this. Yeah. The... Love it. Who wouldn't? That's a big pantry. Big pantry. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, that's the microwave and range, right? Built in there. Mm -hmm. It's not a double oven. It's just... But these are high enough that you could eventually double oven it. And that's true. You could and it looks like you could have one of those low profile. Well, actually, I guess it's kind of, you didn't have to worry about the lighting, but like certainly doable. Grill and then gas range. Does stuff like this typically get thrown in? I guess you gotta write you it in if you want it. For it. That one. Yeah, because it's so mobile, probably that not. Yeah, this is kind of not. This isn't real nice. Like, yeah. Yeah. You could yeah, probably would, find a much nicer I think, one. I think, I think, I yeah, I guess that. you're right. Yeah. But cool. um, yeah. Like there's a catalog called Dollar Designs. I don't know if they'll get that in the mail, mm -hmm. but they have little ones that you can buy, like with like a nice top. Yeah. You could get a nice one. So this is cool. So there's a desk near the kitchen, which is really oh, yeah. nice. That's nice. Backdoor storage. Okay, so I guess since it's slab on beams or whatever, it, it's does, that, it feels like a slab. Yeah, it's yeah. a slab. Yeah. They usually do slab on builders here. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> basically you'll see them, I think they, I guess they did it in the 90s too. Does it say it? I guess it would have had to have been, unless there was some substantial. Yeah, but, I don't know, slabs, they build these huge piers and then they pour the slab so it's really solid. Yeah. Unless they did it badly. And, yeah. Um, there's a house in Milton for sale where it, it's off by four inches. Oh, oh yeah. I see. And I don't know if they're ever going to sell that poor house. Ooh. It's a really nice house. But hmm. It just seems like the foundation thing is. Yeah. Well, it's feels level. That's yeah. not exactly the most scientific. <laughs> this is a nice little Ish. big family room. Interesting. So how would we handle the We'd have to do it like they do it here, I think. 
Yeah.